Now that you know some of the basic concepts of C Sharp, it's time to start building. We're going to start with simple concepts that you already learned, such as statements and variables. But we, we will also introduce other concepts such as control flow, mathematical operations, and loops. And we, we will also touch on the subject of data structures as we're going to be using arrays and lists in this project. So let's start by asking the user to input the name. We're going to use a simple console.writeLine statement, which you already learned. And then we're going to use the console.readLine to actually get the input. And we're going to store that in a variable. It's going to be called name. And I'm using var because it's my personal preference, but you could use string to declare this variable. But now it's time to introduce our sixth data type. And that's the date time. And that's another very important type that you will use in most of your applications. And you can notice that the declaration of this type is different. I'm not going to dive deep into the reasons since they involve quite advanced concepts. But the types that we have seen so far are provided by the .NET class library, but they don't need a new object to be initialized. Later, when we dive into classes and objects, you will see that objects are instances of the classes. And a good analogy to that would be a single car being an instance of a type of car. But the daytime does need to be initialized and we can do that in several different ways. And the way we are doing it is by calling the UTC now method of that class. And that method returns the current date and time on this computer expressed as the coordinated universal time. UTC. And that's a time standard that is used internationally to regulate clocks and time. After that, let's use dashes to create a line of separation using console.writeLine. And then we're going to use the variables to greet the user. So I have both the name and the date in this block of text using string interpolation. And the next step will be to bring in the main menu. And I'm doing that by using the technique that we've learned where we use the at sign to create a multi-line block of text. And I'm asking which game the user would like to play today, followed by a menu of options and another line of dashes for separation. So let's see the results so far. When I run the app, I get the request for my name. And after I input my name, I get the greeting plus the menu. And notice the format of the date. This is the default date time format. But of course, we can choose different formats and we will have a look at that later. Now, before we move on to see how we're going to process this menu, I'll just show you another example of calling a method from the .NET class library. So as we said before, a string is provided by the .NET class library. And when a class has methods that can be called and we add a dot to the variable that represents that class, the code editor provides a list of the methods that can be called. So in this case, we have the replace, the to lower, normalize, and I'm going to use to upper, which means that my name will be printed with uppercase characters. So let's run the app and see the result. And the name now is in uppercase. The date time class is another one that has a variety of helpful methods. For example, we can grab specific parts of the date, as you can see here in this list. So let's do that and as an example, print the day of the week in our game. So if we run the app again, we can see that now the greetings have the day of the week printed, which is another example of the power of the .NET class library. Now, there are methods that you'll be using very often and you will memorize them eventually, but I recommend you learn them as you need them. The .NET class library is huge. It has thousands of classes, each of them with several methods. So definitely, don't try to memorize them, but just keep in mind that .NET offers such methods. And of course, you can find all of them in the official documentation. 